My apologies for the lack of ambient background sounds. I had a large fan running to try to keep cool in the 100 degree temperatures that day. I have added some background music for your pleasure. Welcome back, everyone. I am the small engine mechanic, and today we will be working on a Craftsman 3000 Psi pressure washer that will not start. Let's get started. We will check the oil level to ensure the low oil switch is not activated. The most common issue is usually with the fuel system, so we'll start with that. A little trick to see if it is a fuel-related issue is to spray a small amount of brake cleaner into the top of the carburetor and give it a test pull. Since it started up, we know there is an issue with the fuel. We will need to inspect and clean the carburetor. Using a 10 mm socket, remove the two filter housing nuts and an 8 mm socket to remove the top bolt. Slide the cover off the carburetor studs and remove the cover gasket. Using a pair of hose pliers or vice grips, pinch the fuel supply hose and remove the hose clamp from the carburetor side. The hose can then be broken free. Remove the throttle linkage spring and the throttle linkage from the carburetor. Remove the carburetor. The fuel on the face has started to turn into varnish. Loosen the bowl nut and using a sample glass, I will be able to tell if there was water or other debris in the fuel system. This is a very odd color for the fuel to be. So, let's disassemble the carburetor. Remove the bowl nut and bowl from the bottom of the carburetor. There is some debris in the bowl. Remove the choke lever from the top. Remove the float hinge pin, float, and needle assembly. Remove the idle screw and then the pilot valve. Using a flathead screwdriver, or a jet removal tool, remove the main jet and emulsion tube.
there should be a clear hole in the main jet. Time to put this into the ultrasonic tank for cleaning. Now that the parts have been cleaned, they can be reassembled. Start with the emulsion tube and main jet. Then install the float assembly and hinge pin. The bowl is next, ensuring the drain nut is opposite the fuel intake pipe. The bowl nut will be next, make sure you don't over tighten it. The pilot valve and idle screw are next. When tightening the screw, I turn it in until it just touches the throttle lever. Reinstall the choke lever. If the fuel is bad, drain it out and fill it with fresh fuel. If the gasket is good, slide the carburetor on the studs. Reconnect the throttle linkage and return spring, then the fuel hose and clamp. Reinstall the cover gasket and filter cover base. Reinstall and tighten the two, mounting nuts and bolt. Reinstall the air filter and filter cover.
the fuel was the funny color it was because the owner put sta bill in the fuel. If you want to keep your pressure washer running great, even during winter storage, then use aspen for fuel. It contains no ethanol, burns cleaner, doesn't have the harsh exhaust fuel smell, and has a very long shelf life. Aspen for is not a sponsor of the channel, I just love using it in my personal pressure washer, lawn mower, and snow thrower. They even make it to psycho version, that is just as good. Now we can give the engine a test run. The engine started right up, and sounds good. That can only mean, one thing. It looks like another one is good to go.